initializing caution files. Please stand by. What's up, my cautious dude? Your boy Caution here. And I know it's been a while, but I have been sick as fuck. But I'm back. I'm not feeling 100%, but that's all right. Because we are going to visit a set that has been a while ago, but not forgotten. And has been sent to me by I Like Men. Yes. There we go. This set is between Dang and Calf. As we all know, Dang has been... Uh, he was the champion of Open League. And he also was the champion of one of our dark tournaments where he faced up against Moods himself. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Battle control initialized. All right, we are here in the very first game between Dav, Dav and Kang. Yes, that is true. This is a alternate universe where Dang is actually known as Kang, and he is facing against Dav. So we have Calf in the bottom right, playing as England, and we have Dang in the bottom left, playing as France. So we have an Allied mirror going on here on Kosovo in the RGL Season 11 balance. It's been a while since I've seen Dan playing. This set has been, uh, like I said, long lost, but not forgotten. And here we have those two Titans facing off. This has been during the time that Ka uh, Cav was also trading pretty extensively for RGL. So that means both were in top shape. I'm surprised both players are actually going for engineer last on this map. It's not uh, not what I would do, but hey. Interesting aggression from Caviar is gonna take multiple oils at once, or at least try to. Which is going to be a little bit weaker against an all-out attack from Dang. Which is what we could see here. However, he could trade very badly if Cav manages to get his infantry behind the oils. Wait, what the fuck was that? Did he just turn around to kill... Holy shit, I have to watch that again in the replay, but he just, it looked like he just turned around to shoot his own baller and just killed his own engineer. Usually Cav plays Soviet, so maybe he's trying to force the Soviet way onto the Allies. In the meantime, Dang is going to opt to shoot that down, even though he has the engineer just sitting there right next to it. He could have just, he could have just captured it. What? I, um, very interesting plays here from both players so far. Not sure why Dang wasn't just confident or comfortable in just capturing that. Could have just set up a defense over here. Get a couple of rifles on both sides just to protect the NG. And he could have claimed himself another oil. But hey. Maybe Dang just wants to play it safe for now. Got a small small force over here to deal with the rifles. Yep, he sees the rifles as well, so he's going to clean them up. Very nicely. Have tried to take the oil back from Dang on in the left, but he lost his ranger for it. Almost succeeded. 
think he was over halfway capturing that four harvesters for cav fifth is going to come out very soon sd is ready macro part cav is definitely ahead by quite a while no double racks play from uh, neither players here just standard double ref Ooh. Thanks also not building buildings. He he just built a pillbox, but he's still not building structures. That could be a problem. He's still on one racks, he still hasn't noticed. And it's only gonna become more. He went for a double light fetal boat, but he did not go for a double double barracks. Oh, and he just managed. Oh, close. I, I thought he gave up his uh, light tank, but that rocket just did. Yep, there goes the light tank. He did take a very nice trade there, but he did sacrifice two of his light vehicles. There we go. He noticed that he was not producing. He's producing now, but he's a little bit behind, but he's, a, he's ahead in terms of army. Could have taken out the oil if he wanted to while he was at it. There's the eco slide from Cav. Cav knows where the pressure is from Dan currently. So he's gonna opt to get for to go for this ore instead for the time being. He's probably gonna move out the main to the middle. No, he's not. He's immediately going for that position as well. Interesting. So that means Cav is going to hold off on getting any MCD presence for the time being in the middle. Nice concave from Cav, or from Dang, excuse me, he's gonna kick off this tank. Here comes the MCV from Cav. And here comes the MCV from Dang. Now Cav is definitely ahead in the macro part as we just acknowledged. He has two extra refineries working already, so he could potentially go for some faster production. No players are now here, meeting each other in the middle. Billbox is going to take out the Rex. I like how Cav is setting up his buildings though. Trying to make sure that this entire pad is going to be under his watching eye. In terms of vision. He's a little bit cautious though, he doesn't want to move in yet. Here's two tanks from Cav that are trying to go and eco harass. Gonna check out this ore pack, but Dang hasn't moved out yet with his main MCV. Dang is going for a rotation, but he's rotating with his entire army, which is questioning. But if he goes for the expansion and catches Cav off guard, then it might work. Although. If Cav during that time decides to scout this area with a couple of his tanks, and he might lose his position in the middle. There's Cav going for Radar Dome, straight into Helipad. And Gang is going to catch him off guard, but like I said, Cav can still retaliate. Has a turret ready. Going to be able to take out that medium tank, perhaps. Oh, oh yeah, he did get it. All right. Well, so far, Cav didn't lose anything serious there. Oh, wait, 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 wait! Is Dan going to let this happen? He's retreating completely. He's not even fighting back. He's this army is going to be picked off a lot of it. Here comes a small offensive from Dang on the other side. Manages to outmaneuver Kang's army. Kang, I'm doing it again. Cav's army. Might lose the MCB. He's going to lose it for sure. 
did get a mechanic. No, nope, was unable to deploy in time. Undeploy. Nice maneuver here. He managed to find a way around the army from Cav. And rotates back into the main base. But it's going to be picked off. I don't think it's going to be able to do any damage. That was a good RT shot. Still need a harvester. Yep, gets the harvester. Ooh, oh, hello. That's an engineer from Cav right there. It's going to capture the refinery, but it gets crushed by Dang's harvester. And in the meantime, this army might be caught off guard from Cav. It's being surrounded by Dang. Dang is working on his positioning. Going to form a massive concave, but in doing so, his army is getting picked off, but he has a lot of medium tanks to make this happen. But those medium tanks are melting, but it should be enough clean up this army efficiently. Here's Cav on the other side yet again. He's facing some pillboxes and turrets. Dang is sending in his harvester as well to deal with it while he's being backed up by some riflemen and Cav is actually retreating after that. Middle is getting bombarded by artillery. In the meantime, Cav has seen this army at the cost of a Blackhawk, though. And the pilot just got raped. Cause of death, raped by gunfire. Nope. Dang, does not have radar dome out yet, I believe. No. And he's only now just going for this expansion. But it might delay his production, to be fair. Have a look at the eco in the meantime. Wow. Dang is actually floating. I did not expect that, to be honest. This calf has been enjoying this expansion, this expansion, and this expansion quite a bit. Did lose a couple of harvesters. Uh, he's on 8 harvesters respectively and Dang is on 9. So both players should be good. Like I said, Cav still has that tech advantage. Oh. Did he see something that we didn't? Not sure. Oh man. This is going to be rough. <laughs> For me. For you guys, it's going to be entertaining. I'm not going to do this in one set though, but it's going to be split up in different parts. But hey, we are just getting started. This is game one. And it is looking promising. Now, Cap doing some nice scouting with the Blackhawk. Using his tech units well. There's the radar dome from Dang. Dang with a massive army sitting in the middle. Now Cap is going to respond. He didn't see any infantry over there. But Dang did see the Blackhawk, I believe. So he's now sending over a couple of rockets. Oh, he's going to send over his entire... No, 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 no. He's keeping it close by. Like, I like what he's doing. I think he learned it from Cav as well. Cav usually likes to do this as well. He keeps his army in the middle. So that any angle that he's getting attacked from in terms of expansion, his, arm will, he, his army has to move an equal distance. Which is good, Dang is doing the exact same thing. And Dang actually responded really nicely there with a couple of rockets. He queued up a turret. That eco harassment is no more. In the meantime, here comes the artillery pressure yet again from Cav through the middle. Oh, but there's the AA gun taking out the Black Hawk. Cav did take out a couple of Raxes and a couple of power plants. We could be low power, but oh, that army is not being retreated. And Dang is going to dead ball in. Where is the army from Cav? It's going around to deal some damage, but it might be his undoing. He lost his RTs as well. The only shot he had to deal with this massive blob from Dang that is crushing through the middle here. Can this be stopped? Harvesters are melting. 
tanks are being sent in from Cav, but they're getting destroyed by this humongous concave. And Dang has breached through. The Bucks are, are being desperately being deployed by Cav. His MCD is on the run. And Dang just opts not to go for that. He's going straight through the main. It seems like Cav also managed to get a spy into a Rax from Dang. But that is not going to matter. That veterancy is not going to help your main right now, buddy. It is going to turn into a base race because Cav is here dealing damage to the main base as well. And he might be able to do some equal damage to be honest. But Dang is definitely a hit in terms of damage. Cav is going to sell off his buildings. War Factory and two refs to get some money back. Oh, wow. This gives Dang time to establish a small army in the middle of his main base. Hopefully he can resist this huge brown wave that is coming right for him. That's a lot of medium tanks as well. But his infantry is not aligned up in a perfect way to deal with this. But he's just trying to clean up the RTs to make way for his infantry and he's actually doing a pretty good job although the arties are doing a good job as well but not enough for the time being in the meantime this huge blob of green destruction is still managing to do a good job clean up the entire main base and Cavs forces are teening for sure Dang decides to sell off as well I am surprised. I was actually considering he could have done, he could have cleaned this up with the pillboxes he could have produced. Because Cav was not going for the MCB at all. Army values are looking pretty close. Cav in a small lead. But Cav sitting on three harvesters working for the time being. Dang's eco is just looking a little bit better, but not that much either. Cav is going for a eco raid here. He's going to opt to kill the refinery instead of the harvester, which is a good choice. Let's find out, but it's a double mine. Blackhawk is going to clean up this infantry. And this is going to be an interesting fight. Looking kind of similar to what happened between me and Fake Fan, which was casted by Five Aces. And then we had me versus this bro, which was also casted by five days. And then there's some douchebag that keeps sending fucking replays of me losing to five aces. Well, there's plenty good games out there that I won as well. Like the minion finals. Huh? Anyways. All players have rebuilt their war factories. And it's going to be interesting. Players lost equally as much. However, that veteracy actually might might work for Cav now. I'm not entirely sure. But he did lose his Raider Dome. So he's forced to be building light tanks. Um, Dang still has his Raider Dome. So he can still make Arties if he wants. Exactly what he's doing. But both players are low on medium tanks. And that's going to stay... For a while i believe yeah i don't think that both players are going to opt for sds for the time being oh actually never mind cav just decided to build an sd prepare his medium tanks Ooh, lost the black cock right there probably wants to preserve those as much as he can but he does have an idea now where he can find dang now it's going to come down to pure experience dang does have the advantage he has two mcds going so he can keep Producing structures while he's trying to expand, and for the time being, Cav does not have that privilege. Oh, 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 oh. Yep, he's gonna lose that MC. Luckily, he built himself an SD, but Cav is now without an MCV. I have to say, Dang's army is actually looking a little bit more scary in my opinion. He has those RDs, he has that vision support as well. 
Calf is going to take an attack onto this base. There's a guns, there's pillboxes. It's going to be rough for him to force anything here. This is one of those games where it's going to come down to the wire and it's hard to determine who is going to win this one. However, I do have to say it's more leaning into Dang's favor right now. Dang is actually deciding to pump all his eco that he has into just more army right now. He wants to brute force his way in there. He wants to go for it. Can he do it? There's Arties though from Dang. There's three Arties that are going to melt his army. Cav is going for it. Can he do it? Can he find him? He's going to sacrifice his Blackhawks to deal with the infantry. But he's making it happen. He's just brute forcing his way in there. He's going to get the Arties as well after substantial losses. But he managed to clutch it out. Not looking good for... Dang, all of a sudden, he's going to lose Harvesters here, which is definitely something that he does not want. He's going to sacrifice his Black Hawk as well, but only for one Rocket Soldier in exchange. And he has no MCV up here to help him with building pillboxes or something like that. In the meantime, his Light Tanks are being harassed. I mean, his Harvesters are being harassed by freaking Light Tanks out of all harassing units gonna be a slowly but painful death for these harvesters and it's an expansion that dang definitely needs if he wants to make a comeback from this wow cav did some serious damage there he still hasn't gone for a new mcv and it looks like he's not going to he knows that he's at a point where both players are at a point that they just need the bigger army to win. Both players are on low eco, so he just opts to not build that extra cash for an MCB. That's gonna cost him only more money for a, you know, it's a good investment for at a later time, but now time is crucial. These are desperate times. Desperate time calls for desperate measures. And can Cav do it? Definitely fighting at a vision disadvantage, especially if he's gonna lose his tanks like that. But he's managed once again to find a way through. He's got a decent amount of medics as well. Kills the War Factory, kills DSD. The cab is on its way to that MCV. Finding walls of pillboxes to do so, his forces are definitely depleting, but so is the defense of Dang. Dang has nothing left at all. He has a couple of riflemen, but that's about it. And this army from Cav is on the loose. expansion has been cleaned up and Cap is just going to keep producing at this point he doesn't feel the need at all to make an MCV he's stalling obviously that's you know, only going to be logical Ooh, but yeah this this passage is very annoying if you have too much infantry there your tanks are going to go around which is very annoying and now his tanks are isolated from his army and he the cab did a good job denying this entire eco for dang for the time being he has two mcvs in his base and a huge army advantage right now for cab These barrels are still alive. They could become really juicy anyways. 
Dang has a decent eco for now here. He's going to try and defend it with everything he has. It's going to be crucial as well. He's got four harvesters working there. Which is going to provide for a decent eco for at least a minute. Maybe a bit more. That's the only advantage that Dang has over Cav right now. He has the power to rebuild faster than Cav can. Due to the fact that he has, he still has two MCD, so he can expand. That's what it's going to come down to at this point. But the pressure is on. New War Factory for Nang coming online too. Still hearing a medium tank shooting. Yep. It's veteran C3 as well. Blackhawk barely survived. Uh, Blackhawk is going to be crucial as well for Dank to scout where the army from Cav is being because Cav is just currently trying to deadball his way into this expansion, but it's becoming, it's once again becoming quite of a stronghold. There's a mass amount of pillboxes here. There's a decent army yet again. And an RT that could make the difference here. Oof. Yep, this is starting to become impenetrable again with the forces of Cav right now. He's stuck on tier 1.5, he does not have an MCV still. Is this going to be the turnaround? Is that mistake that he made, or the decision he made, is it going to be the wrong one eventually? Maybe Dang rotated a little bit too late, but he's going to keep, yep, he's going to immediately respond, retreat the harvesters, and because of that RT fire, Kaf cannot risk losing this army. But he does have to try and isolate them, and this is what I was talking about with the second MCV. Dang has that freedom, he has the opportunity to keep rebuilding Eco. Entering minute 26 right now, and here is Cav eventually going for a new MZ. Realized, like, all right, I can't do anything about this anymore. I'm just going to sit here and try to defend. I might eventually A, lose my army, and B, it's going to outnumber me. I'm going to send over a new MCV in his main base. I'm going to rebuild as well. It's a good decision going for this. This has completely regrown as well, and he has the option to go for three mines of one MCV position, which is really good. There's Cav. Yep, there's Cav scouting around with his army, with a scout and a rocket soldier over here. And Dang is still chilling in his main base. I think he's hoping to bait Dang's army out. Slowly but surely, Dang has caught up with the huge army gap from before. Dang feels confident enough now to leave his main base. He has a Blackhawk leading the charge as well. So he can see where Cav's army is lingering. Dang has three RTs to support him as well. Main problem is going to be those medium tanks, but he does have a substantial amount of rocket soldiers in that army. Dang is taking the bait. Oh, all the medium tanks are not in a good position here. Caf is going to sacrifice that army, but in the meantime, as I was expecting, yep. Here is Caf with that splitted off army trying to find those harvesters. He finds those harvesters. I'm not sure what 
Dang is doing. Two harvesters go down. Going to find the SD again. Blackhawk goes down. SD goes down. It's a huge setback right now. Another Blackhawk goes down. This small army is catching Dang off guard. There's a lot of medium tanks over here as well. And this small army is doing the trick for sure. If he can finish off that ref before he leaves, that would be very nice. Not gonna risk it. Where is he? Alright, but now it comes on to Cav for defending his base. Because that huge blob is pissed off. And it wants revenge. And Cav needs to defend this base at all costs. Is he going to build an RT of his own? No, he's still going to go for medium tanks, etc. The only reason he wanted a raider. I'm not sure why he builds raider though. I'm assuming he wants uh Oh man. I'm assuming he wants RTs, but look at those medium tanks, man. Those medium tanks can definitely make the difference. Like, this is becoming a number of medium tanks that, it, like, it doesn't really matter how many rockets you have. They're gonna get fucking squashed underneath those wheels. Army value numbers are looking very similar. We are entering minute 30 of this insane first game on Kosovo. Still, it's very hard to determine who is going to win this. If we're, we're going to look at the statistics a little bit here, this destroyed loss tab is looking in Cavs' favor right now. In terms of eco, Dang has earned a lot more. Not a lot more, but you know, almost at least 10k. Alright, Cav decided to split off his forces. Oh wow, that medium tank still got that light tank. I did not expect that to happen. Cav is just going to attack into this. He does not care. Like, if he can get at least two or one harvester from this without any substantial losses, he's going to be fine with it. But I'm not sure about this attack. You knew how many RTs he had. Oh my god. And his medium tanks are not in a correct position. Look at this giant concave supported by RTs. This army got melted just in a moment. And Cav calls the GG what was seconds ago. He had the advantage in his grasp. And he just threw it away with one attack. What a solid defense from Cav. What an amazing performance from these two players in the first game. Let's go over to the side. Battle control terminated. Battle control initialized. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after that insane performance on Kosovo, we are back. And last time we had an allied mirror match. This time we're going over to the Soviet side. We are back on Moonopoly. We have Kang in the bottom right playing as Ukraine and we have Dang in the top left playing as Russia. Oh great. Oh fantastic. This is gonna be awesome. Can everyone just shut the fuck up? The first game was a lot more quieter. Not even sure if that's a word quieter, but yeah, here I just made it up. Enjoy it. Probably the, the correct term was a lot more silent. All right. I, man, I don't, I don't know why people go double ref on this map. I really don't know. I. I honestly don't see the reason why. There's only two oils on this map. They're so far apart from each other that you can't... You can't... You just can't control both with double rift. I... You know, I just don't see the advantage of it. Yes, of course, it's a safe build. And... If you're... When in doubt, just go double rift. But, man, I feel... If you're just trying to get the oil for the time being... You know... Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Well, that's a power plan down. Uh, 
that is going to sit dang back for a substantial amount. Wait. Oh, okay. He rebuilt too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be. That's gonna be. He's gonna be really far behind in terms of war factory produ uh, production here. Pretty good grins from Calf. Definitely worth a shot. going to happen here in, in terms of the other one he had a lot more advantages or like objectives to capture so this is going to be a little bit more quieter because of the size of the map and at this point there's just not much to do we have already on four harvesters dang is a little bit behind still Cav going with an APC. Seems like Dang is going to opt and kill this. Oh, they're going to recapture it back as well. Ooh! <gasps> no! Poor scouting from Calf, to be honest. I have to say. Nice going from Dang, though. Managing to snipe the NG, but the Grenadier is gonna take care of that eventually. That Grin is still going to come in useful. the oil and Cap is going to clean up this oil for now no more advantages for you buddy Meantime, here is Dang's gonna claim this expansion. So is Cav. Cav already bringing over two harvesters, though. And so is Dang. Perfect eco fight from both players. Man, and that single grin. Ooh, he's going to be caught. But he manages to sneak past this commando is still not done with his quest he is still on a mission that he needs to finish before he ends his life Player still very defensively. Here is the main MCV from Dang is on the move. Main MCV from Cam is still sitting still. This is something we didn't see in the first game. Cam does have a better view of, from, of the middle right now. Already a heavy tank on the move. Trying to do some eco harassment. Meantime, Dang actually not trusting this at all is gonna move his army 
a little bit more north. Here's a duo of rocket soldiers waiting for that heavy tank that they scouted out. Still, this heavy tank is having a nice look around, so I check in what, what's up going on where all the buildings are located definitely good intel regardless is it worth the heavy tank maybe Ooh, double war factory from dang okay okay is that rifleman going to take out a heavy tank? <sighs> wow, remains with a very with a pixel of health. The attack from Cav. This local is ready. It's going to scare away Cav's army for the time being. But Dang still has to do something about this army. In the meantime, this is giving Cav the time to set up a nice concave. Cav has defenders advantage as well, but look at that concave from Dang. Jesus Christ. Nice play from Dang for sure. That wasn't the entire army from Cav. And it was pretty much from Dang. Now because of this huge engagement, Cav didn't trade that poorly to be honest. He manages to take out this expansion which is pretty crucial, it's a double mine expansion. So losing that is rough. Double War Factory came online for Cav as well, quite similar timing to... Dang I suppose. In the meantime Dang is going for a retaliation. And he went for a raider though. First V2 is coming online and the first airfield has been built. Oh, there's already a second V2. Cool. Alright, so Cav decided to use his second MCV to take this expansion in the bottom. He opts to stay in his main base for a while. Interesting decision making. It is going to help him here because, you know, he had a feeling that Dang was coming to his main base, but in the meantime, there is a nice split from Dang as well. And with this small army, he got what he wanted as well. He managed to take out the ref, which means Cav also has to move an MCV over there. To reclaim that eco. Now it's once again going to become a tier 2 battle. But it's Dang that's going to be the first one here to scout with the Yak and has the V2 support. Is that going to be a good shot? No, and he loses his Yak because of it. Fortunate. That could have been huge for Dang. There's Cav right now with his EX support as well. No V2s yet from uh, from Cav. But he's not really into that. In the meantime, ooh, what is Cap going to do? Is Cap going to go for this? Yep, he's going to send over his army from the middle. Defend that position. He's going to lose that ref yet again. Oh, but that, I think Cap is okay with that. And I should be as well. Like, if he manages to get four harvesters here, which is actually a pretty huge deal. Dang might be able to defend in time. I think he will. Yep. 
Cav Edge actually might be trapped here. Decent V2 shot. Yeah, as long as Cav is not going to engage, these V2s can just pick off whatever's there. They can follow every movement. How much this army can do from uh, from Cav? It's very hard to micro a V2 like that on a moving army. It's doing a decent job though. The micro is costing him though. But yeah, regardless that army's gonna die. But he managed to retreat all of these harvesters from Dang just by passing by. Which is worth. And he's distracting him so much that there's a second attack going on here, but these V2s from Dang are doing the works. And another small force from Cav, man, he is breaking Dang apart. And for some reason, he completely forgot about this army in the middle that it was microing so much to destroy. And these attacks from Cav are not doing much except this is all emotional damage. This is getting to Dang for sure. And here is that army going in again. There's a couple of flamers in there as well. The Yaks are desperately trying to do something about it. The Harvester is being sent in as well. But is he going to lose? No, nope. it seems like he's not going to lose any structures because we wow the heavy tank killing the flamers there that should have ended in disaster and this heavy tank over here look at the works of that killing two harvesters already it's going to claim a third one eventually but like i said the damage is done this was huge Can Dang recover? Cab is gonna go in here as well, but he's fighting a outclassed and outnumbered army here. But once again, he wants to take that eco, so it's gonna be a it's gonna be one of those games where one player is gonna have a substantial amount of army value lead, and the other person is going to have a decent game. Have a look at the harvesters for the time being. Still six harvesters for Dang. But at this stage of the game, it's going to be hard in producing units like this. Also, this is a map where there's not a lot of eco, especially with longer games like these. Nice, nice raid here from from Dang. Here comes dead ball. Dang is going in through the middle. Maybe he has had enough. Dang, a calf is definitely out of position, but those that was a very nice V2 shot, especially the first one. Did enough emotional damage to make Dang retreat. Oof! But he returned the favor just like that. I've got V2s of my own, buddy. And I'm not afraid to use them. Very nice learn. In the meantime, paratrooper drop. They're going to eventually get some kills if it's not um nothing's going to be done with it. Parabomb being used, and it still might be a good one. Yep, that was definitely a good one. Is that what Cav needed? But that's still a huge army from Dag. But those are so many heavy tanks from Cav yet again. You can see who is the player that preserves his heavy tanks in a very nice way. 
He's now using an all-in move, but it's working really well. Very nice V2 shot in the end, but Dang's army is once again getting destroyed. We've seen this before in game one, but that was not enough for Calf to seal the deal. In the meantime, Dang is on tier three. He's got his Iron Curtain recharging to be used. Oh, don't lose that Meek. Meeks are so expensive. Oh, the Meek went down and his expansion might be lost as well. Av has breached through in the middle, so it's going to be hard for Dang rotating his armies in between the expansions. Another Harvester going down here. Both players are on 6 versus 5 Harvesters. Advantage Cav. Shock Troopers are coming into the party now for Dang. Zibidi zip zap. But look at the army value distance all of a sudden with that one major push. So I'm not sure Shock Troopers are the way to go right now. The damage is being done by this brown stain on the map. Oof. Kef has found the base of operations in terms of shock technology. Dang is going to try one last time to defend this position, but he cannot. And Kef makes the equalizer with... 1-1. One, one. That is going to be it for now, boys, for part one. Tune in later this next week. Thanks a ton for watching, boys. I'll see you next time. Battle control terminated.